the trouble started when I got home. I had just returned from a night of lively festivities down at the local watering hole, and the old crow Kentucky straight was still coursing through my veins, pumping grade A confidence in every part of my body. Nothing could go wrong today. Not a damn thing. I tossed aside any worry I could have and moved towards what the neighborhood committee calls an eyesore, what I call a beautiful reminder of taking out the Johnson's nativity scene. And then, out of nowhere, everything went dark. I didn't think I'd make it, but then I remembered the words spoken to me by an old Japanese man. Nibu hibuapu, ukoki tsutsukaru. Before I realized I can't speak Japanese, I made it to the door. Well, that's interesting. My detective intuition had kicked in, and let's just say that I was gonna give up. Let's just say I felt sorry for the jabronis who found their way into my home. They don't know the fire and brimstone soon to be upon them, but me and my good old 45. My good old. my old. Where the hell did I leave my gut? I moved further into the house, ever vigilant. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing. Whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Those aren't my shoes. If those aren't my shoes, then that ain't me. And if that ain't me, that could be anybody, anybody except me. I was on to something. I moved in closer and saw that it was some weird vegetarian hipster fetish show. Oh, oh, you're dead. I didn't see it at first, but she had written, Do I look fat in the only color of lipstick she ever wore? And I knew she had to be close. She'd want to see the look on my face. I just had to see the look on your face. I spun around and she spoke again. That's the one. Just as stupid as ever. In the flesh. Last I heard of her, she'd been bludgeoned to death by 20 hobo clowns in a boxcar head in the Connecticut. I should have known better than to listen to rumors. But I wishful thinking. Either way, I'll play her again. Who's the stiff? Well, you should recognize him. It's your own flesh and blood. Or, I won't lie, I was confused. You're just as terrible a brother as you are a lover. This cut me deep, but my confusion remained because I'm the only child. Huh, <laughs> that was just as stupid as ever. What does it mean he's the only child? Well, who's the gorilla? Has this goon been there the whole time? Uh, he's talking about me. He spoke with a lisp, but what really surprised me was his name. That's my dick. I couldn't resist the opportunity. Well, I see my dick's been tossing your salad. What's with the rabbit munch? We were hungry. I bet anything, that's my lettuce. Yeah, okay, but why is it so big? We didn't know how long it'd be. It was Flamingo Fridays at the Coca Cabana. Could go all night. And it did. Have you noticed something's missing? I'm missing a lot of things. It was true, I didn't know where most of my possessions had gone, but I had a hunch I knew what she meant. But I was way off. I'd hoped it was my pocket watch. Either way, I'd play it cool. I wasn't gonna let her know how afraid I am of being shot by a bullet. You know what, no. Another strange turn of events that left me baffled. And as soon as I caught it, I knew that something was off. It couldn't be this easy. But with Ivanka, you never could tell. I had to be sure. I slowly took aim at my dick and squeezed the trigger. Click. Empty. You think we'd be that stupid? I hoped. Ivanka Slavanka from Sri Lanka. The name burned on its way out. It doesn't matter who I am. It matters who you are. And who the cops will be after. I made it to look like you killed this sap. My dick is going to make it real hard to walk before the coppers arrive. Honey, do what I told you to do. My dick's gonna get a pounding he's not gonna forget. I gracefully stepped up and gave him an invite to Floor City. Population him and the dead guy. Never have met a man who could step up to these puppies. The adrenaline rushed through me like an eagle free falling with his mate. I turned on the real elephant in the room. Ivanka Slavanka from Sri Lanka. She played it sweet like an innocent little bunny, but I was hip to her jive. You wouldn't hurt a woman, would ya? Baby. You ain't no woman. I showed her that watching Rocky once a month for six years had paid off. But seeing as I'm a gentleman, I left her looking decent. It's not bad. I should have been a fashion designer. I allow myself a moment to gather my thoughts. Start coming up with a plan on what to do next. First thing, I need to fill the tank. I haven't eaten since last night. 
Well, this is definitely my lettuce. I figure the best option is to beat her at her own game. I'd leave her for the cops to find. As for the corpse, I think I just found my next case. Had it just been some stranger unlucky enough to cross her path? Or had my parents been keeping a secret from me for all this time? You better believe. I intend on finding out.